What's up everybody on YouTube, Free Swimmer here, and I just thought I'd shoot a video of these guys eating romaine lettuce. I got one of the little sticky clip things. Well, they were eating it a lot more intensely, but as soon as I get the camera, they can all get shy. Let's see what happens here. Here we go. I'll back up a little bit and I'll bring in a little bit. They all seem to like the romaine when I say all oh, the, the waru, the severum, the silver dollars. Those are pretty much the all that like the, the romaine. Everybody else eats you know, like in the pellets that I feed them. They all seem to eat that well, but this is a treat I put in here every day or two. And they just have at it, so I just thought I'd share. And on a somber note, one of my two red spot severum, he got Popeye, I noticed it a few days ago. He's been under a lot of stress. That red shoulder severum back there is the biggest one in the tank and he's very dominant over the female. And uh, he's been beating on him a lot. And I think a combination of things, primarily the stress. I, I've done a bunch of moving things around in here. It might have bothered him, but I didn't catch him in time. So I'm doing water changes and salt right now. See if we can get a little bit of results out of that. He passed away. That's the somber moment. He passed away, but I'm going to continue the treatment because my main male, Electric Blue, Akara, he's got some bumps on his nose. And uh, let's see if we can zoom in on him. He's eating well. He's acting okay. And I don't know what it is. Every other fish is fine. I did all my water tests. My pH is a little bit high, but it's stable. It stays right at 7778 7, 7, all the time. It's a little higher than I wanted, but just barely. My nitrate was like, it was between 0 and 5. I have no problem there. Zero nitrate, zero ammonia. And, uh,. My carbon hardness and my general hardness are both, they're both right where they should be. They're actually very happy with that. So, needless to say, I just wanted to share these few moments, share their snacking, and uh, all the babies are doing well. That right there at the bottom of the screen around is one of the three thread fin Akara. I think that's going to be a really cool looking fish. A lot of people call them geophagus. They look very similar to the, the red-headed tapahoes. Considerably quite similar, but... And I'm considering ordering... I've had such good, good luck with the wet spot tropical fish orders I had. The parrots are doing great. The blue... A card brewing great, the electric blue a car, the thread fish, all the fish I ordered, I ordered about 10 fish, they're all doing great, so I'm thinking about getting three more electric blue a car, and three more waru. I do fancy the waru, and I, I know that makes for quite a few fish, but I don't feel like it's anywhere near, yeah, nowhere near the limit that I'm worried about. I do weekly water changes. I got my pump coming for this tomorrow. This is my overhead sump. It's primarily, it's not going to be used for any beneficial bacteria. It's just going to be used for a lot of filter pads. I'm downsizing. The 1800 gallon per hour pump was just, just mania in here. I could not get it to do what I wanted. I got an 875 gallon per hour one. So when it reaches there, it'll be more around 750, 740. And
and that will be less than what the Fluval FX6 is advertised. And I got some plants floating in the sun. That about does it for now. We'll do a video on how this turns out. Took the spray bar out. I don't need all that nonsense. Just got that one outlet. That should be ample. That's an inch and a half outlet coming straight out of the bottom of the filter. Alright everybody. Let's see if we can't get that hooked up tomorrow afternoon and shoot a video of it. Have a great last day of the week and enjoy the weekend coming. Later.